everybody so welcome back to my channel once again finally I have a Ghana recipe for you all I hope you enjoy I know it's been a while so here I have for you fufu and a light soup honestly try to edit this video it's like so hard because all I want to do is go make me some more of this because my mouth is literally watering right now <laughs> anyway let's get on with this video these are all the things you're gonna need which is rosemary and thyme you can use dry rosemary as well or thyme I have here some fresh goat meat which is what I'm using you can use any other meat that you want um, Usually I like to go through my meat and kind of cut off any, you know, excess fat and then I kind of chop it to the size that I want it to be. So I actually buy my fresh meat online uh, from an English farmer and then I have it home delivered. If you want to see me make a video on that, let me know. So more things you're going to need, which um, the vegetables, I have here some okra and some garden eggs. And then I have some mackerel. Now I have, I'm going to be using the fillet, mackerel fillet. But if you have the whole mackerel, it's even better. I think it's a little bit much tastier. And I'm also going to add some uh, onion, some ginger, some uh, yeah, which I'm going to crush, kind of blend together. I'll add that to the meat. And you've seen my rosemary and thyme already. Um, I'm also going to be using some stock cube, any one of your choice. If you have fresh tomatoes, please do use them. I don't at this point when I was making this video. So, but I have some tin tomatoes. So this is organic um, tin tomatoes. All right. I'm going to use probably about just half of this for this particular uh, food that I'm going to be cooking. And um, yeah, so we can start cooking right away. So to my meat, I am going to be chopping my um, rosemary and thyme. Finally, chop them. So I'm also going to finally chop some onions and then I'm going to add some salt to my meat. I'm going to also add some um, stock cube. You can use any one you want. And I'm going to also add uh, all my chopped vegetables, I mean herbs, <laughs> and the hot sauce that I just uh, grinded on, which is the ginger and the pepper and the uh, onions together. All right, so just add the amount. It's very hot, so you decide. <laughs> Yeah, and then you're gonna just stir everything together. I should need my uh, meat. I actually kind of need a little bit of water. Usually when I'm cooking a small amount of meat, I tend to add more water. So add a little bit of water just to help it steam up and be able to cook well. Not too much, as you can see. I just added a little bit. And then we're just gonna cover everything and then I allow it to um, cook for about 20 minutes, 20, 20, 25 minutes or so. My meat, I've had a small that it can cook a lot quicker. So I have here my um, garden eggs, which I'm chopping. So I'm gonna chop some of them into half and then um, one of them into like uh, little wedges. The one I chop in half, I am actually going to blend it and add to my soup to kind of help thicken, to thicken my soup. So I'm also chopping off the ends of my um, okra. I'm not cutting in the, the okra, I'm just chopping the ends. I'm gonna put it in um, as a whole. So here is my meat after about 20, 25 minutes or so. As you can see, it's really nicely cooked. It's still not as tender, but it's gonna continue to cook whilst we add all the other things to it and continue to cook anyway. And I'm just gonna add my vegetables. I've already added my garden eggs. I'm now adding my um, tomatoes. This could be your fresh tomatoes as well. Um, and then an onion. I had a, a huge chunk, but I'm gonna pick some, I'm gonna pick them out and pretty much blend them later after they've cooked. So I added my mackerel fish in there and a little bit of water. You just saw me put. I'm also adding some um, tomato puree right so I'm gonna add enough water just to allow my uh, vegetables to cook for about let's say 10 minutes or so and um, yeah so just cover it up let it cook for about 10 minutes all right and then I am actually going to um, grind some spices together which I will be adding when I'm taking my vegetables out so I have here some peppercorns with me you can use any one you know you guys know there's the black ones the green ones the white ones any one of them. I have the red one at the moment, so I'm using that. This is actually called, um, what is it called? Negro, Negro pepper or African pepper. It's usually added to the soup. I'm going to take about two pieces of this and I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna add it to my peppercorns 
you can actually add fresh a little slice of fresh ginger here and grind it together but i already have like um ginger ginger juice which i froze i'm using about a cube of it um yeah i also have here some um what do you call this again uh yeah cloves yeah that's it <laughs> i have some cloves you can grind it if you're using the full the whole uh cloves at about two pieces or something it depends on how much you're cooking though but in there i'm going uh, you saw me the powder while i'm only using just a little bit of a little bit all right now that i'm not even have a teaspoon so i'm really just gonna kind of grind all my spices together and uh, make sure that it's nicely grinded but we want it to be as smooth as possible so yeah um this is kind of like gonna give you a really nice fresh uh taste i think i don't know i really like to add it almost at the end of the food there or soup <laughs> when it's like two uh, ten minutes till i'm almost done that's when i add it so here is my uh soup um it's been cooking up for about 10 minutes i'm just gonna remove the garden eggs the tomatoes the chunk of onion and uh, what else yeah i think that's about it so i'm just removing all of them i'm going to grind it up to as smooth as possible if you're not able to grind yours to as smooth as possible then you will need to strain it but yeah so this is my spices that i just grinded i'm going to just add it to it as you can see i'm adding uh, water as i go along so here i'm adding my grounded up uh cloves as you can see very tiny amount and then my ginger yeah so at this point honestly you can just stir everything in and taste for salt taste for um if you need any salt and at this point i actually need a little bit so i added some and then i'm just going to go ahead and add my okra so here i'm now blending the vegetables that i just uh, took out from the soup and i'm going to blend it really smooth and then add it back into the soup and i'm just rinsing out some of the uh, rest of it and then adding it back to the soup at this point i've actually added all the um amount of water that i want so i'm just gonna leave it to uh further cook for about uh 10 minutes or so and it's ready finally <laughs> our soup is ready so i'm just gonna move it to the side and then i'm going to go ahead and start to cook my fufu or shall we call it pandan yam as well because i am actually um going to be using dehydrated yam flour because that's what i have where i am so here i'm just adding my uh dehydrated yam flour to my water now and then i'm just gonna knead it until it's kind of like all come together so um if you, if you ever needed water you can add some hot water if it's too like hard and you needed water add some hot water let it boil a little bit and then you just stir and just bring it all together into a nice little ball <laughs> so here's my fufu or pomid yam if you want to call it and um it is ready and here is my soup which i'm going to add to the uh fufu here we go um yeah oh my gosh <laughs> my tongue my throat oh my god i just want to eat some right now trust me it looks so delicious it was delicious and yes i ate everything in that bowl right there <laughs> oh, Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yeah, there we have it. I think, yeah, baby. <laughs> it, it, it just says it's ready and we are going to eat. So, as you can see, I've washed my hands ready to tickle the poo poo and <laughs> give it a massage. Mm. Yeah. So there we have it guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, I'm going to try my best to bring you more African um, African recipe or shall we call it Ghana recipe because that's what I know best. <laughs> I am married to a Nigerian so I would definitely also bring you some Nigerian recipes that my husband actually taught me how to cook it <laughs> but now i actually cook it better than him yes i definitely do <laughs> so yeah there you have it thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give your sister a thumbs up yay and leave me a comment down below i will do my best to reply all right so i'll see you in my next one thanks for watching bye